Good morning, my friends. Today is Tuesday, October 17th. It's Tuesday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. It's day 38 of Be Formed, and it's also the memorial of St. Ignatius of Antioch, who was martyred. He's a bishop and was martyred in the year 107 AD. He's known for and remembered by the letters that he was writing on his way to Rome to be martyred. And he said he, said he wanted to be um, bread for the lions, you know, that they would chew him like wheat so that he could be um, the li living bread for God. I don't know how many of us would be willing and ready to uh, offer ourselves uh, to the Lord in such a way. So his letters are worth, worth reading to see someone who knows he's on his way to die and he, like Jesus, willingly gave himself up and he encouraged people. He says, please don't stop me on this journey. This is what I must do for the Lord. Let's first look at the uh, gospel today, Luke chapter 11. Oh, and by the way, we are here in Thessaloniki, uh, which is, we'd say Thessalonica. Sound familiar? The letter to the Thessalonians. Yesterday we went to Philippi. Uh, Paul wrote uh, the letter to the Philippians. And so it's very interesting to be here and to see these places where Paul was ministering. We'll get to Paul here in a minute. So Jesus, uh, it says, a Pharisee invited Jesus to, to dine with him. So he reclines at table and he didn't follow the customary cleansing laws. And, uh, and, and he knew what they were thinking, right? You know, Jesus could read their minds and he says this, O you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. That, those are not words that we want to hear uh, one day. He goes on to say, Did not the maker of the outside, of course God, also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and, and behold, everything will be clean for you. So first of all, does what we do outwardly match what's going on inside? Are we going through the motions outwardly? For example, even as Catholics, can we be like the Pharisees here where we might do all the right things, we might appear to have everything together, but inside we're, we're filled with things that are not of God. Now, obviously, none of us are, none of us is perfect, but what God calls is that integrity of life, that transformation, that metanoia, is a change of mind and heart. When we allow him into those deep areas of our lives, those places of woundedness, those places that cause us to sin, when we allow God's love to enter into that, those areas, that's when we find this, this freedom where what's going on inside matches the outside. With that in mind, let's look at Paul, who we're following his footsteps here in Greece. Um, I love this. So he says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. So here's Paul who, you know, he could have easily just been a follower of Christ and just left it at that, lived a nice, easy life in Tarsus. But he, he goes you know, makes these long journeys in order to share the gospel. And he says, that, you know, I'm, I'm compelled to share this gospel. And what does he tell the people here? This is to the Romans. He says, uh, God handed them over to their impurity because they exchanged the truth of God for a lie. So, and then he says, and they revered and worshiped um, the creature rather than the creator. I love that line. So how often do we follow the lies? And who's the father of lies? Of course, it's, it's the devil, the enemy. Who's the truth? Jesus. The, he's the way, the truth, and the life. So the more that we can give ourselves over to Jesus, the more that we allow him into our lives, the better things will go. And then, who or what do we worship? Now you can say, of course, I worship the Holy Trinity, right? But where do I spend my time, energy, and my money? I remember they asked us that, that question when my, I made my Curcio uh, almost 30 years ago. And I remember thinking, boy, I spend a lot of my time and energy not on the things of God, but on baseball. And, and these things are, some of these things aren't bad, uh, but are they God? Do we make idols of honor, power, pleasure, and wealth? So let that be our prayer today that we, we worship the Creator, not the creation that we follow the way, the truth, and the life, and not the lies of the enemy. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your Son, Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. 
Lord, you know our hearts. We want to follow you. We want to worship you. We want to be your faithful disciples and and be zealous about sharing the good news like Paul was to all of these communities. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune to your families. Buen Camino, and God bless you.